Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to our first story and activity for our insect unit, which we are starting this week. I'm really excited about this unit because for the next three weeks, actually, we're going to be introducing different types of animals to you. This week, it's all about insects, just like the one that we're gonna study here in a second. And what we're gonna do for the next three weeks is we are going to introduce you to a type of animal with a non-fiction book, which means, again, it's not fake. It's full of facts and information. And then we also have those books paired up with a fiction story that is about a similar character. So we're going to get to see the best of both worlds, and we're gonna to get to learn facts and information from our nonfiction books, and then we're also going just to get to enjoy the characters and stories in our fiction books. So let's dive in right now. This is what you came for. You came to find out how we go from caterpillar to butterfly. This is the first insect that we're going to um, study and they're really fascinating because did you know that butterflies actually start off as a totally different looking insect? They start off their lives as caterpillars? They do. And this book is going to teach us about what we call the life cycle of a caterpillar into a butterfly. When you are listening to this nonfiction book, you're going to have your ears open for things that you think are important facts or information that you would wanna share with someone else if you were teaching them about caterpillars and butterflies. You especially wanna be listening for how you're going to be able to finish your chart today about butterflies can, have, and are. This is similar to the tree one that you did last week. So let's go ahead and dive in. I can't wait for you to learn something new from caterpillar to butterfly. From caterpillar to butterfly. There's a monarch butterfly right there. Butterflies start life as eggs. See all those little eggs? Where does it look like the eggs are? Maybe on a plant somewhere. Those look like stems to me. The eggs hatch. Do you see it coming out of that egg? Look at it crawling out. What do you think that is? Oh, you're so smart. Out come caterpillars. This says, does the caterpillar look like a butterfly? look like a butterfly yet? Nah. What do you notice about what it looks like? What do they have on them? What does it look like they are? It looks like they're kind of spiky. Looks like they are little. Hmm. All things to think about for your chart. Each caterpillar eats and eats. What can they do? eat a lot of food. Yes, they do. They eat, eat, eat. Have you guys been doing that since you've been at home and stuck in your house? Have you been going to the fridge and the pantry and eat, 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 eat like the caterpillar? I bet you have. Then it hangs from a twig. <gasps> Look, it can hang on that twig. Oh my gosh. This says, does the caterpillar have wings? Does it have wings yet? wonder what it's going to do next. The caterpillar turns into a pupa. So that's that stage of life. Do you see how it's kind of forming a protective layer around itself? Yeah. It becomes a butterfly. <gasps> Look inside of that pupa. Do you see the wings inside? Oh my gosh, so cool. It says, can you see the butterfly inside? I can. Next, the pupa shell opens. 
the butterfly comes out. It says, where is the old pupa shell? Can you see it? Yeah, it's right there where they climbed out. Wow. Those were some big changes while they were inside that pupa. The butterfly dries its wings. Look, it's hanging there again. Dry off its wings. Why do you think they want to dry off their wings? What are they getting ready to do? It flies away. Can you see its four wings? There's one, two, three, four. What can a butterfly do? Fly. That's an easy one for your chart. The butterfly flies from flower to flower. Does the butterfly have feelers on its head? Can you see them? Like the antenna? It sips nectar from each flower. So they can drink right out of those flowers. I bet that tastes good for them. And that was the end of our book. There are some questions at the very end. I'll just read these off to you and if you wanna to talk to a sibling or an adult about these questions, they might help you with filling out your chart. So it says, do butterflies start life as eggs? Do they? What hatches from the eggs? Oh yeah, caterpillar, you're right. Where does the caterpillar become a butterfly? What was it inside of? What did it have? Oh yeah, it had a pupa. How many wings do butterflies have? Butterflies have, oh, good remembering. What do butterflies feed on? That means what do they like to eat? What can they eat? Yeah, they eat the nectar, and where does the nectar come from? Oh yeah, the flowers, because remember they are flying from flower to flower. Wow. Oh. That short little book sure did teach us a whole lot of facts and information about caterpillars and butterflies. So now, friends, it is time to work on the first part of your sheet where you talk about what they can have and are. There is another part where you're going to finish the sentence starters, but that is something that you can work on tomorrow. For today, here's your first step. You need to think of what butterflies can do. Or if you want to talk about um, caterpillars, that's fine too. I know that butterflies can sip nectar. So I'm going to write that on my first line and I'm going to try to think of three other things that butterflies or caterpillars can do. In the middle, we're gonna talk about what they have. Well, I remember that they have, how many wings? Four wings. So under have, I'm gonna write four wings. And when I'm done with that, I need to think of three more things that they have. You can think about what you see when you look at them. And on this last column, you're going to talk about what they are. What are butterflies? Well, I know that they're insects because that's what we're studying this week. Feel free to steal that answer from me. They are insects. And I think that they are beautiful. So I'm going to write beautiful also. Okay. So there are a few examples of how you are going to fill out the front of your chart. And for tomorrow, you are going to copy the sentence starters, butterflies can, butterflies have, and butterflies are, and you're gonna think of a way that you can finish those sentences. If you need to use the front of this to help you, that is totally fine, you definitely can do that. I'm going to trace over the
the first sentence. And actually, I can turn this around so you guys can see what I'm doing, too. All right. Butterflies. We know this word. Can. I want you to trace over those so it shows up brighter on the paper. Um, butterflies can. Now I need to think of something that they can do. Well, I know that I could write about how they can drink nectar because I did put that on the front of my page, but I might want to do some of my own research or think of some other ideas too. And I know that butterflies can come out of a pupa. So I'm going to write that. Butterflies can, I already have that, so here's come out of, O-N-N-F, of, of, O-N-N-F, of, of. Butterflies can come out of a pupa. I thought that was really cool when that happened in the book. Don't forget your period at the end. The next thing I need to think about is what butterflies have. So I'm gonna trace the word butterflies again. And then have, H-A-V-E, have, H-A-V-E, have. All right, so when I look back through this book, or even if I do some research in another book, I can think about what they have. Well, I noticed that some of them have spots and stripes. So I'm gonna write that information in my sentence. Butterflies have spots, sp and, ooh, thank goodness for those popcorn words that we know. Butterflies have spots and stripes. Stir I stir I. Oh my gosh, I've got two of my sentences done already, and you guessed it, the only thing I have left, left to do is to write butterflies are and tell you something that they are. Maybe I wanna say they are colorful, or I could say butterflies are good at flying, or I could say butterflies are important because they really are an important insect. It's up to you to decide how you want to finish your can, your have, and your are sentences. And I know that you can do it, especially since we did something similar to this with our trees last week and you all did such a good job with those. Keep working hard and growing your brains and I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait to see what else we learn about insects this week. See you later.